reduced. End of season seven on heaters and dehumidifiers reduced to clear. Plus at Airpoints dollars and get five easy interest free. Hurry before stock sells out. Well, we met online actually, um, and we've been together for three years now, which is nice. It did take some getting used to, but they've really won me over. Without always first time and last to bed. It's not a beautiful relationship, but it, it works for us. Look, nobody's perfect. In the past, I've been guilty of um, taking things for granted, but not now. <laughs> I am, um, I think they're the one.
the Cup. Also, a unique experience. Well, I'm used to turn up at the airport and know all sorts of screen phones, name and screen by looking at each other, thinking, what's going on? But um, I think it's pretty cool. Bowden is in huge demand in Japan and will play here during the course of his new New Zealand rugby contract. His two younger brothers will also receive plenty of attention in the coming weeks. Yes, and the All Blacks set for plenty more attention, uh, because despite the fact that this is one of the more remote parts of the country, a recent survey showed that 84% of the 1 million people who live here are well aware that the All Blacks are in town, well aware that they'll be playing. Uh, we even bumped into a few Kiwis today, some who've lived here for more than 10 years, never seen an All Blacks test live, never dreamt that the All Blacks would be here in their backyard. Next Wednesday, they finally get that chance to see them, so very special for them, Jenny May. Kiwis are everywhere, Matt. Loving your work, Matt Manukia, live from Puerta. Yeah. The world of rugby's told the Cup referees to pick up their game after a weekend of foul play going unchecked and some questionable conduct. And that message will probably be reiterated after Samoa's win over Russia. Yeah. Referee Romain Quartz issued two yellow cards for Samoa high shots, but questions are still being asked whether they should have been read. Championship medalist used to run for Nike, 
And while her global brand creates big budget ads that are all about empowering women, she says they weren't interested in paying a pregnant one. So she shifted to ASICS, but didn't get much more understanding there. Not more than a couple months after she was born did I get a call from the new rep at ASICS telling me that we want to talk about your contract or reducing you because of your performance last year. And I'm saying like this performance that I was pregnant for for nine months of the entire year that year. Following her plight on the other side of the world were Nikki and Adam Clark, creators of Kiwi activewear brand Caden Shay, who specialise in workout gear for mums. And there was a post on Instagram and it was about her maternity cover and how um, she wasn't covered during her maternity after having, and after having her baby and I sort of said, um, if an iPhone wants you, we will. Nice dream, right? Well, this month the duo and Montagno, who's five months pregnant with baby number three, had a conversation. That's turned into a four-year sponsorship deal. Yeah, there were bigger brands that, you know, had a, more money to offer, but the fact that the full person is who they recognized when we were negotiating this deal truly was, that was the, the ace card. While Montagno wants to compete again, if she doesn't, her new sponsors don't mind. At their Northland headquarters, they've hired women who are six months pregnant because they're the best person for the job. We just want to help mothers, you know, work from the clothing to the things that we do and the, the way that we treat our customers. To have someone out there that's really actively fighting for mothers, it's fighting that good fight. And um, it's sort of just, yeah, to us. Montagno's fight has already seen change. Companies like Nike have amended their contracts, but few guaranteed pregnant women will continue to get paid. Kate Shea is doing just that. Pregnancy, birth, and becoming a mother is the ultimate performance. So how could you ever... You know, penalise anyone for that. A little Kiwi company who are prepared to just do it right. Abby Wilson, One News. Fortier football side Colchester United have pulled off one of the biggest upsets in English League Cup history with a win over Tottenham Hotspur. With Spurs having 75% possession, they probably should have finished things off in regular time, but those missed opportunities came back to bite them as the game went to a penalty shootout. The overwhelming underdogs look to have blown their big chance after this effort. So we've been working on this in the preparations. Brown, oh no! The Spurs struggled to find the net themselves, giving the Hughes their big chance at glory. Club Colchester into the next round of the cup. Champions League runner-ups, even more impressive considering Colchester are 71 places below Tottenham in the English football pyramid. Now Colchester advancing to the last 16. Now just before I do go, some rugby world cup news. Looks like there's an upset on the cards. Uruguay currently ahead of Fiji 27-22 with around about 10 minutes to play. So that's it from sports. Um, it is a stunning view, apparently. You can go to 450 I metres above. You can go to 450 metres, but um, yeah, no, we're close yeah. on it. Anyway, I would say good night. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for that. All right, back here in New Zealand. But Jeremy is uh, He's too much flipping your voice to one of our biggest musical stars. Yeah, the lift so against the Pacific Countries. Yeah, put the riff on the Pacific Countries. Because the paint team joins us for the chat tonight. Plus, well, they want the, they want the South Americans in there because they will get this television money out of them. Right. The country's oldest New Zealander on his special day. We will see you at seven. Kia ora. Tonight on Wanda, working with Queensland's finest ingredients in MasterChef Australia.